Hi, I'm City Manager Ed Zerker, and welcome to another edition of On the Job, the show where we talk to Phoenix employees about the work they do to serve the community. We've been hit hard by the monsoon this summer, and I'm here in Levine today where some street maintenance employees are fixing a sinkhole, and I'm joined by Street Maintenance Superintendent Jack Noble. Jack, thanks for being here with me. Thank you, Ed. So, tell us about what's going on here behind us. What, what's the, what repairs are going on in Levine and all throughout the city? Well, um, just like you said, with the monsoons, um, we tend to have a lot of undermining that goes on. We have a lot of uh, volumes of water that get underneath our streets, and then the subgrade settles, and then we get these enormous sinkholes. And right now, today, the employees are um, fixing a couple of these sinkholes. There's two of them, pretty large, and um, they were secured off, but just trying to get the streets back open. And we take that material out, put new material down, compact it, make sure the subgrades compacted real good again and then put the asphalt back. It's just time consuming, sure. but. So this is one example of cleanup work after a monsoon, but there's lots of other uh, crews out there. What, what kinds of things have to go on with streets after a monsoon like we've had in the last week or so? Um, you know, again, with the volumes of water, I have, a, I have a great staff and a great crew. They work all night long. They're always out there all hours of the night. But what tends to happen is we get a lot of volumes of water and it brings a lot of debris onto the streets. We get sinkholes. So our, our main priority is to go out and clear the roads, get the, all the debris off the street, the mud, get it open so we don't have to close roads so the people can still use the road. We get them open to where at least they can use them through the day. And that's what's been going on really, really a whole lot the last two weeks. A lot of rain at, from all over the city. We know that the storms start up north and then down south. So we're moving crews all the time, but really just trying to make the roads safe for the public and just to keep the roads open for the public. So you've got road graders, you've got other people, big heavy pieces of equipment. The city owns a lot of equipment. What are some of the what's some of the equipment that you've got out there on a daily basis dealing with this? Well, um, we, we're running about, uh, right now I believe about 13 motor graders, big motor graders. I have about uh, nine little uh, back hoes and front end loaders that are loading materials into six yarders to get them out. And we have some bobcats, uh, right about nine bobcats. And then I have 270 employees and we shut down all of our general maintenance work during the monsoons, the storms like this, and we focus everybody to that. So we have about around 270 employees just addressing those storms daily. So it's all hands on deck and I'm guessing this is not an eight to five job. You're always on in monsoon time. Correct, our, our employees stay on call. Um, they're, they're an eight to five uh, operation, but me and my supervisors, we are exempt, so we're out all the time, 24 seven. Whenever the public needs us or the city needs us, we, we come out and we serve the public. Now, outside of the monsoon season, there's a lot of heavy work going on in street maintenance too. What kinds of things are going on in a more normal time than this time of year? Um, we, we, you know, we have a lot of potholes. A lot of the rain develops potholes. Um, we get a lot of uh, deterioration in the asphalt. Um, heaving, the heat brings, uh, lifts the asphalt and expands and contracts the asphalt. So just general maintenance stuff where we're out trying to keep the potholes, keep the road safe, keep it smooth. And, and um, sometimes with the, we have big water main breaks that shut down roads as we all know. And we also go in and assist the water department and get the roads back to where they're travelable. So we, we have a lot of little issues along with, you know, drainage issues and sidewalk heaving yeah. and anything in the right of way, that's what, that's what I'm in charge of. A lot of times we think about customer services being on the phone with a customer, but what you guys are doing is really customer service because we all depend on the streets for everything we do every day. Correct. That that you know that's that's the that's the means everybody uses is sidewalks for our ADA community and being able to get around. You know we got to keep them in mind, get into the buses, and then as well as the streets, we we try to keep them open. Um, we, we that's that's our main our main goal is to make sure the citizens can get out of their house, get where they're going, and get back to their house safely. Whether that be in a wheelchair or in a vehicle, whatever that is, that, that is my main main goal every day is to make sure that, that the right of way is safe for the community. That's great. Now tell us a little bit about you. You worked for the city for quite a while, I understand. How'd, uh, how did you come to the city and how long have you been with us? I, I've been with the city now 20 years, all in the street maintenance division. I started as a worker one, just as a laborer right on the streets, and I've worked my way up through all the ranks. I've, I've, I have been on just about every position and I've worked my way up to where I am today. And how does that help you as a supervisor? Have, knowing 20 years ago you would have been one of the guys here pushing a broom and doing this work. How does that help you as a supervisor? From, from my own self uh, perspective of that, I, I, I have a great respect for what these guys do every day. It's hard work, it's very hot. So when they tell me some of the concerns, I've been there so I understand that and I know what they're talking about. Also, I can also help them with their career paths. I can tell them where I started and I've, I've had a lot of opportunities and been, been uh, 
able to promote throughout the city. And by being able to do that, I can mentor these guys up and, and give them the, the right path to where they can maybe get not have to be on a shovel every day, that they can move into management or into a position. And, and, I, and I feel really great about being able to do that. Well, they're very fortunate to have someone like you with that background as their supervisor. And thanks so much for everything you're doing in the monsoon season when we think about it and the rest of the year when we don't. Uh, you know, we sometimes take for granted the great streets in Phoenix, but I really appreciate the work you and your team do. Thank you, Ed. Thanks, Jack. If you'd like to learn more about the work in the Street Transportation Department, or if you need to know storm updates, go to phoenix.gov website on your screen. We want to thank all of our employees and urge them to be safe during the monsoon season. For On the Job, I'm City Manager Ed Zirkman.